Some of these smuggling organizations have been in business 20, 30, 40, 50 years. The amount of money is just too huge and too vast. They're not just going to walk away from that profit because now there's a wall between the United States and Mexico. They're going to look for some other means. All right, I'm about ready to uh, descend into the Galvez Tunnel. Tell me when you're clear. I'm going to descend about 70 feet straight down to the bottom. Clear. With the advent of the infrastructure between the ports of entry, one of the unintended consequences was the huge um, narcotics tunnels that then were created. They are very effective. They are built in secret on the south side inside of a warehouse and they end up in secret on a warehouse on the north side. Be careful down there, Bob. Bob, are you okay? The fact that they're going to tunnel underneath our border, layered with tactical infrastructure and agents topside in there, all doing this, all underneath that stuff, that is pretty audacious if you ask me. 80. Let's stick one more in that one. So the whole idea with the infrastructure that went in between the ports of entry, the fencing, the lighting, was to drive the smugglers into the ports of entry. We're at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. We're the busiest land border in the world. We probably lead the nation as far as smuggling attempts for aliens and narcotics. You have anywhere from you know, 90,000 to 100,000 people coming through this port of entry every day. That's like a small city coming through this port of entry on a daily basis. The unique challenge is most of the travelers are legitimate. They're good travelers, they're good people just coming up to do business, to visit family, and we're looking for the needles that are in that haystack. So our job is to ferret those people out, to find them who are hiding within that mass of people who come in every day. And that's always a fine balancing act, and it's been that way on the border forever. One of the other dynamics that we have faced here in San Diego is the marine smuggling threat. It's a lot of ocean. They're going so far now out of our area of operations that we can't even cover that area, you know? We can't keep up. If, if, even if our aircraft spot a vessel 500 miles north, you know, I mean, all we can do is contact another agency and hope that they have a water asset that can go get them. Port of Entry 6506, updated position. Four miles away, dead south of us. Every time we've done something to try and secure the border, drug smuggling organizations have tried to come up with some way to end run us. So I think sometimes the talk of the wall or building the wall is hugely and largely a political symbol. In some areas, it has been effective. But at the end of the day, you build a wall along the southwest border and you're not going to end drug smuggling. They're only limited by the amount of time and the amount of money and ingenuity that they want to invest in their smuggling ventures.